Hi everybody, my name is Priscilla Hall and this is the Osho Tarot reading for the um, Capricorn New Moon in December 22nd in Australia and 21st in other parts of the world. It also landed on the solstice, um, which is also the um, the longest night in the Northern Hemisphere and the longest day in the Southern Hemisphere. And it's a time of massive... Um, uh, massive powerful energy and also being at zero degrees uh, Capricorn apparently it means that um, it was is very intense for everybody it's um it's been because I think Pluto was also is stationary or is actually transiting in Capricorn and so it's it's the, the the pressure and the tension that everyone's feeling has been quite intense so and I'm I'm no exception of course and uh, hence the delay in, in my in my little readings here um, I've noticed that the last couple I've been doing I've actually been quite um, I've been quite intensely affected by a lot of the energies and it's actually taken me a day or two to finally drop down and be ready to do a reading because I've been in such a state of, of flux and change myself and um, and I'd rather be very clear and, and um, be an open channel for these readings rather than trying to push them through and make sure that they come out just because they're you know dead on time. Um, so yeah, without further ado, the, um, the the new moon is about new beginnings. Capricorn is about um, structure and building building blocks. Its um, its ruler is Saturn, so the energy is very much about um, um, being very sober, being really clear about the um, the structures you'd like to create, and ensuring that when you do build something, you're actually building it on a solid foundation, and it's not um, castles um, built on sand. So this. Um, this card for today, or for you know, for now, not for today specifically, is the Source card, and uh, this card is very much about recognizing that no matter what's going on around you at the moment, um, you really do need to remember that you are the source of your own power. And when you feel that there are times that um, everybody else is is uh, is somehow controlling your environment, then yeah, coming back and recognizing that you choose what you want, you choose. Um, how you want to do it, um, you you know if you feel a bit depleted, it's probably a good reminder to come home and not actually try to do it all, um, and to replenish your internal energies rather than um, look to have them um, look to look to other people for them. It's very yeah, it's actually this card kind of indicates a time of retreat in a strange kind of way, and even though the new moon isn't about necessarily. Um, retreating it's almost it's it's about making the most of, of uh, creating something new but we can't create anything unless we're actually fully um, nourished and and, um, and replenished within ourselves because we can't we if we don't recognize where our source is and we don't um, actually fulfill our own source and and fill our own cup um, we're often drawing from an empty well which is exhausting and so it's really about coming home and uh, making sure that we are really taking care of ourselves and that even though we are the source of our own power and the source of our own energy um, I'm getting the sense that it's a time to remember that if we don't nurture ourselves then we're drawing from that um, half empty cup as we often say or the empty well as I mentioned earlier and there's little point in doing that and so I feel like the best thing we can genuinely do is really take care of ourselves I, I've said this so many times now, the energies are very intense and we're going through massive, massive changes and a lot of the changes feel like they aren't um, something that we have looked to create or instigate for ourselves. It feels like it's coming at us from external but the reality is it is, our, it is from our own internal because we're ready for change but sometimes our minds say, no, I want to stay where we were, the way I was because it feels safer. And, um, and But when we actually recognize that we need to learn to go with that flow, um, then the changes aren't so horrific for us. Um, but if we, do, if we don't actually nurture ourselves and, and fill up our own well and, um, and you know, feed our internal fire, then we have nothing to draw on. And, and that's really what this is about. We, we need to ensure that our source of energy is full and, uh, and as nourished as possible so that we can be this beautiful burning fire that just literally wants to radiate outwards in the most amazing way. But if we have nothing left, you're just going to, you know, you're going to go out. You know, you're actually going to, um, you know, you're going to limp along and be exhausted and shattered and, and there is no point in that because there's even more changes to come 
and we need to make sure that we look after ourselves. So that's a really, really key message that I'm getting here. We need to ensure that our internal fire, we stoke it and that we feed it and we take care of it so that it continues to burn brightly for ourselves and then naturally um, we can then allow the energy to move out and be of inspiration or benefit to others. If, if we don't look after ourselves, we can't help anybody. And that's, that's the biggest truth on the planet at, at any given point in time. And uh, with lots of changes coming through, the best thing we can do is actually make sure that our own internal fire doesn't actually get left untended and, um, and then ends up going out because we're so exhausted and there's nothing left and we've got nothing to draw on. So uh, please take care of yourselves, everybody. It's, um, it's pretty full on. Um, as we all can feel it and uh, yeah best of luck and much love and, and Merry Christmas everybody um, tomorrow is Christmas Eve and uh, the day after of course is Christmas so it's um, you know everything's ramping up there's mayhem in the shopping centers um, and we're going to be literally called and pulled upon by every all our loved ones and everyone around us to um, to give 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 and if we don't actually take time out to to stoke our own fires to nurture ourselves then our own fire is going to go out and, and what's the point doesn't make any sense whatsoever so uh, merry christmas everybody much love and um, i'll be doing a new reading early in the new year take care bye bye